we stuck? I think so. We're gonna die in here? I'm so young, I've got so much life left to live. You're telling me. Okay, just let me try some things. Always wanted to do that. Well, now what are we gonna do? Why don't we try calling for help on the red telephone labeled call for help? That's a good idea. How do you know how to do these things? I'm a mother of small children. We try to teach them simple but useful rules to live by, like don't talk to strangers, stop, drop, and roll, follow directions, and uh, read labels. Uh, and I thought I was the one most equipped to handle high stress situations. Really? Really? Could have fooled me. We need to establish a pea corner as of right now. So Wait, that one. We've work. been in here less than a minute. Plan ahead. That's what mother always told me. Please just make the call. Okay. Jason, you're gonna need to call the emergency technicians. No, just just call in the chat. Yes, we're stuck. In the elevator. Between the third and fourth floors. You're pregnant? So that's what they're calling it these days. Hey, hey Jason, <laughs> Caleb here. Just wanted to let you know that we've got a ticking time bomb here. Okay. It looks like a woman. A woman who's nine months pregnant. She's gonna blow. Eight months. He knows I can hear him, right? Yeah, she's starting to panic now. Hurry up. My name is Molly, mm -hmm. and this is probably the most restful experience I've had all week. <coughs> I'm not panicking. I feel fine. Please, just call the technicians. Okay. So, sorry. I just get a little bit nervous. What are you nervous about? It might take a bit, but they'll get us out. The statistics for people actually dying in an elevator are very low. Dying? How low? Low. <laughs> if they don't panic and remain calm. I'm not panicking. I'm totally calm, okay? <laughs> it's just that when a woman gets past eight months pregnant, duh, every guy around here gets uncomfortable. Because stuff's going to happen soon. Uh, what happens if our water breaks? We're going to drown! That's disgusting, man. Oh, gosh. Get a hold of yourself, you weirdo. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I just said that out loud, or... It's just hot in here, and I need to drink water. Does anybody have any water? Okay, okay, he has a point. We should pull our resources together so we can ration out our supplies through the night. The night? Um, I have half a granola bar and a couple mints. What do you guys have? We're not going to be here all night. You know what? I can start a fire from a couple dollar bills and some pencils. Where's the tip for the bags that I was going to blow? Tip? Oh, this is awkward. Does anyone have any paper? Could probably catch us some dinner if we still had a rat problem. Curse those exterminators. Rats! Please stop doing that. No, I really don't. I mean, is a fire going to help anything? Salt spark! That won't start a fire, but the noise is giving me a headache. Now, don't give the pregnant lady a headache! The name is Molly. Sorry, <laughs> I just, I'm really nervous. I think I'm gonna pass out. No, you're not. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I've been reading this self-help book that says recognizing your feelings is the first step to changing them. <laughs> Seriously, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. No, 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 no. She could be, she's on to something. Let's, come on, buddy. Let's give this a try. Are you ready? Okay. Okay. How are you feeling? Like on a scale of one to ten? Mm -hmm. Sure. Now I'm going to hurl. Tell you what, I'll make you a deal. I won't make you all deliver this baby in the elevator if you promise not to hurl. I'm just going to let you know that this whole discussion of delivering a baby in an elevator is make... It's making me, it's gonna make, it's gonna make me real. Oh, I'm sorry. I really just need some water. Okay. If things go downhill, who do we eat first? Have you 
read The Hunger Games. You have got to be kidding me. <sighs> oh my gosh, we're gonna make it! Thank goodness. Yes, we can hear you. We're fine. Hey, speak for yourself, okay? I got a killer paper cut. Starting that fire. Five minutes? Five minutes? Is there even enough oxygen in here for five minutes of sustainable life? Kevin, you've got to pull yourself together. Come on, let's go with chapter eight, remember? Remember chapter eight? Baby steps. Oh, babies? Oh. Oh my goodness. Listen, I have had two kids. This is nothing. I'm sorry. I'm just not feeling real good, and I'm a little bit scared. We know you're nervous, but you need to calm down. It's almost over. We'll be out of here soon. She's right, Kev. She is right, Kev. Who are you? I can't do this. What was that? 